Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So this is part two of my Compare and Destash silver nail polishes and I'm actually wearing today, um, this is OMG from the OM OMG collection and I've put a top coat on this hand just so you can see the difference and this hand doesn't have a top coat. So actually, I think with a top coat, that's just um, two coats of the polish and then one top coat of sash feet. Um, yeah, it's very holographic. So it's this one on the wheel here. So we're going to have a look at some scattered holographics and some flaky glitters. So these were all strictly um, silver. The ones that I'm going to show you have... Some of them have blue, pink, um, purpley kind of glitters in them as well, um, but they are silver glitter bombs. Okay, so let's start with the scattered holographic but full coverage. So this one here is, um, it's actually for your nails only, and this is Solitaire. Um, I don't know what the formula is going to be like because it's been a while since I used this, but it is just, um, yeah, full coverage glitter. It's not too textured and you can get that fully opaque in, I'd say, three coats. So that's Solitaire from, it's just like a disco ball, from For Your Nails Only, which is a UK indie brand. And then this one is very similar. This is Revlon Holographic Lights, Holographic Pearls. Um, and this was sent to me by Debbie, Sister Chic. And this one is similar. You can get full coverage, but the glitters are a lot smaller and a lot smoother. But that's another full coverage holographic silver. It's holographic Pearls from Revlon. And then this one here is a new um, pickup, actually. Um, I picked up this collection and I've de-stashed a couple of them straight away because of the formula. This is Welcome to the Universe, but I did like the silver and the gold from this collection. So it's a silver metallic base, but it has um, tiny little holographic glitters. And I think with careful application it won't be too brush stroking it just leaves that scattered holographic glitters kind of captured in there so I don't know I quite like this one that's cosmic from the cosmic lights collection and it's welcome to the universe and then this one here was sent to me I believe by um, Louise purple wolf nails and this is the boy with the bread 2.0 and it's a frenzy polish and it's a silver holographic, but it's got this blue, these blue glitters in here. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. It's very delicate, um, but it's very pretty on the nail. It's quite a, a, a greyish silver. Um, and just in certain lights, you can capture those blue glitters in there. So that's Boy With The Bread 2.0 and that's from Frenzy Polish. Next this is just going to look pink but it is predominantly silver. Me, I'm 3 and it's from the Arda's Nails Anniversary Collection. Um, yeah, it's going to look very pink but it is a sil it's absolutely packed with silver glitters. And it is full coverage in two coats. So that's me, I'm three from Arda's Nails. And then I have, <laughs> I've got two bottles of On a Silver Platter from Essie. And Debbie also sent me this Cokey Polish, which is called Crown Jewel. And I've done a comparison with them. They are very, very similar. I know that one of these polishes has got a good formula and one of them is quite lumpy, I think. So I'm going to see what all three of them look like. 
So I can tell the difference because this has got a label on it. I think this was mine originally. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a shake. So this is the first on a silver platter. Uh, and I think this is the one that is the OK formula. Yeah, that's quite smooth. It, that's the first bottle with the ripped label. And then this polish here, which is again, uh, I think it was sent to me as a backup. This one is actually it's not as lumpy as I thought. Um, that's not too bad actually. I think it probably just needs a good shake. So they they are actually very similar. Um, so I will be destashing one of them because I don't wear this polish often enough to justify having both of them, I don't think. Especially when there is this dupe here. So this is Crown Jewel from Koki Polish. I think this might have a little bit more pink in it. But again, it is very similar. Um, so I think, I don't know, it's just going to be random which one goes. I think I will probably keep the one that's got the label on it and pass this one along. And then finally, this just silver glitter bomb explosion. This is, the name's rubbed off this a little bit, but it's Unicorn Galaxy from Pretty Perfect Polish. And I actually wore this polish on Christmas Day, last Christmas, and it's just really pretty. Full coverage in two coats, and it's got this fantastic um, shredded pink and gold iridescent glitters in there, and it's a bit kind of shifty as well. It's a very, very pretty polish and the formula is fantastic. It's not, um, you know, it's not a, a, it's not textured. A couple of these, I mean, I'd have to really, yeah, a couple of the polishes here are just on the borderline of being a little bit too textured for me without um, a glossy top coat. But I'm going to do a second coat on everything and we'll come back and see whether or not there will be any de-stashes here today. Okay, so here is a second coat on everything and the sun is coming out so that we can really see the sparkle here. I'm going to be keeping solitaire from For Your Nails Only because it's really the only kind of polish that I've got like this that I can use for accent nails, um, nail art. I'm also going to be keeping holographic light, a holographic, why do I want to keep saying holographic lights? Holographic pearls um, from Revlon because it's a very similar kind of polish, but the, the glitters are much more finely milled um, and a lot smoother. Um, I think I might, I don't know, I'm going, yeah, I'm going to keep this one for now just because I've de-stashed most of the, the, the rest of the collection. So that's Cosmic Lights from Essence. And I don't know if you can see the blue. It's kind of like a hidden blue glitter in here, but it's very, very pretty and delicate. And that's Boy With The Bread. And uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping this one from Frenzy. I'm also going to be keeping the pink silver uh, Me I'm 3 from Arda's Nails. And then we get to the three very similar looking polishes here. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to keep, which has got the, the label on it here. I think, I've, this, I think this was mine originally and I've um, managed to use a fair amount of it. So I'm going to de-stash this one, which is exactly the same. Um, but if anyone wants this and they think they can manage the, the texture, um, it's actually not a bad coverage um, on two coats. And I'm also going to keep, as a backup of this one, I'm going to keep Crown Jewels, fr Crown Jewel, sorry, from Koki Polish. And I'm definitely going to keep 
unicorn galaxy from pretty perfect polish hopefully you can see that pinky flash in there as well as the flake as well as well as the shredded flaky glitters and there's some gold micro glitter in there it's absolutely beautiful so the only one that I'm de-stashing is my backup of on a silver platter because I've already got the I've got the cokey and I really don't need three of this type of polish so this is the only one that's going and I've already got two that are very similar um, so not a particularly successful de-stash I really don't wear these types of polishes very often um, but uh, you know Christmas and uh, festive season um, definitely I mean like I said I wore this one on Christmas Day last year um, so I do like a little bit of glitz and glamour um, if it's the festive season so there we go that's my silver glittery polishes let me know if you've got any of these full coverage silver holographics um, have you got any favourites is this your type of thing or are you running and screaming and thinking oh no this is far too glittery um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.